Hey guys, do you currently own a Grand Prix and you don't know what to do with it other than keep it stock? Well today I'm going to explain some mods you can do that you could probably get at a salvage yard or eBay. I'll let you know. Hey guys, so the first tip I'm going to talk about is um, way under 500 bucks and it might be close to 500 bucks if you buy uh, both but would be on a 97 to 03 grand prix uh a nice mod that doesn't that is usually needed because these cars the taillights and hel headlights are pretty dingy and nasty is uh projectors projectors and led taillights so i'll show you here's my grand prix and i'll show you there's the spider style headlights. Now I have modified them a little bit because I have um, installed the uh, ZZP LED bulbs on them, but that's a different topic. And I'll show you the tail lights. So these are just your plain Jane red LED head tail lights. Right there. And both of these are done from I think spider um, headlights or housings. Um, they're pretty cheap. Um, usually you can get them for about the last time I saw probably 300 bucks for taillights and headlights um, that's the first mod I'd say is best on these cars okay guys the next body mod I'd say is this plastic windscreen it is works great and it also makes it where you can get a little draft when it's raining and not have to worry about the uh, the rain coming in if you just want to have a crack your windows a little bit and then also is another one which is the shark fins they only came on 40th anniversary uh, Grand Prix's um, but if you get lucky these you can find on eBay for usually hundred to two hundred dollars or you can get them for less on a at a junkyard and then also the other one is the sun visor reflector great to uh and it looks cool And then the last other body mod is this, it is kind of dirty, but it is a rubber uh, ducktail. You can get those off of eBay and I'll link uh, the, I'll link the um, number in the description where I got it off of eBay. Thanks to some of the guys on the 3800 groups. Makes your Grand Prix look pretty cool. Especially when it's not dirty like mine is. Okay, now we're going to talk about the next mod that you could buy probably at a salvage yard if you're lucky. Is this special edition rear spoiler. Now I bought the whole trunk lid um, off an individual that was parting out a Grand Prix. But most of these are at a salvage yard so you might get lucky and find one of them um, they make three different ones they make an slp style they make this one which is a i think a anniversary type and then they also make the uh, limited edition which is a lot harder to find because they're a lot rarer and so that's the next mod that you can buy under 500 bucks to make your Grand Prix look a lot better.
Okay guys, I was gonna, I've been talking about body mods, um, so now we're gonna talk about one, one to two engine mods that you might like that you can get from a salvage yard or from eBay. Um, that would definitely be an upgrade from your factory parts on your NA3800 and I'll show you to him now. Okay, the first one is the metal intake. It usually comes on 04 to 04 and up uh, 3800 series threes. Um, definitely, if you have a issue with your plastic intake, having vacuum leak or uh, cracking, or because you daily drive your car, they uh, heat soak, and over the years they've deteriorated and, and can cause a blowout. Um, if your sensors aren't sensors and mechanical stuff is not up to par, um, this is definitely an upgrade when you need to do a your regular maintenance, like your intake gaskets. Perfect time to do this. Swap out the crappy plastic one to the metal one. Definitely worth your time. Um, now to put this on a 97 to 03 car, you do have to get a special adapter because the Series 3 uses a Gen 5 um, outlet. You do have to use a Gen 5 to L67 adapter. Um, eBay. eBay that sells them, um, or you can buy the, the ZZP bracket. Both of them work. I prefer the one off eBay because there's a, a hole with a, where you put your vacuum line at the bottom of this one where you don't have to modify your throttle body. So I prefer the, the eBay one, um, but you can get either, either one. Expect if you do do the ZZP, you will have to do some extra modding like drilling a hole at the bottom of your throttle body where they recommend to make it work. So that's the, the thing you need to worry about. Um, now this is a supercharged throttle body off of a 97 to 03 Grand Prix Regal or Monte Carlo. Um, and that replaces your factory style NA3800 throttle body. Um, also while I'm underneath here, this bracket is definitely worth upgrading to and it's the supercharged um, cool pack slash uh, dog bone mount and it replaces your plastic or not plastic your your cast metal um, dog bone bracket that usually breaks when you over tighten the bolts near the fuel injectors down here um, this is definitely worth finding this is a one of those things that's a, a needle in a haystack nowadays, but if you do find it, definitely worth the upgrade. Uh, now, one thing you do need to be forewarned about is because the cool pack pad is a hair different on the supercharged ones, these do need to, you do need to find the supercharged bolts. If you take this bracket, grab the supercharged bolts from the salvage yard with you, or you might have to buy longer bolts um, because they are a little bit longer due to the thicker pad um, versus the cast pad that the NA uses. So that's the only thing you need to worry about. And one thing while I'm scanning, uh, if you're lucky and you do want to do exhaust mods on your NA3800, don't buy these eBay special. Um, they, do, they do not fit correctly. And I have to had to fabricate and use a lot of torching and cutting and fabricating to make these fit. And they probably don't even fit 100%, but they fit good enough to my standards. This is not worth the price. All the other ones I'm showing you are definitely worth the upgrade. Now, obviously, while we're underneath it, the engine bay, this is a, I think it's ZZP. Uh, strut tower brace um, if you are in a salvage yard and you can find the factory metal one they came on 
and I think Regal and Monte Carlo's and Impala's. If you can find that, definitely worth an upgrade because the Grand Prix never had a Strut Tower Brace. It's only the Buick and other cars. So definitely worth buying if you can find um, at a salvage yard because they're going to be a couple dollars versus this one is probably 60 70 bucks from ZZP. So just something to think about. So. And then last but not least, in earlier in this video, I did talk about um, that the front spider projector um, headlights um, did have some mods that I did. Well, the one I did is I went to ZZP, ordered their front headlight uh, LED bulb kit. You can go to eBay, Amazon, your local parts store. They are gonna cost more at a parts store than Amazon, eBay, or ZZP. Um, I did that mod because I was daily driving this car a lot and so I wanted some better vision than the really dim uh, halogen headlights uh, which are not worth nowadays they're not worth it back in the day when they were factory it made sense but technology has changed and made the LEDs better um, if you're on a budget and you want to do HIDs you can they work I would recommend the LEDs because you don't have to worry about the ballasts and, and extra nonsense behind the headlights uh, but I did LEDs in the low beam part of the headlight and I also did it in the fog light uh, I don't use high beams so it didn't make sense I just kept whatever the factory uh, came with from Spider not from G GM or Pontiac when this car came out uh, and another thing while I'm thinking on it because the alignment of the headlights are a little bit off compared to the factory and you want them to fit tighter you do have to do I did some cushion like the door cushion from Lowe's or Home Depot I bought that to put underneath the headlights so that your headlights don't bounce and that is one of the flaws of the spider headlights is they bounce um, once they're adjusted right because there is a gap underneath them which I'll show you right now if you look close enough right here there's a, a spongy double-sided tape I did and you can wrap you can make it go wherever you need to but I use that to uh, fix the bounciness because I was driving my car on rougher roads so I didn't tired of getting flipped off from oncoming traffic or other people because my headlights are bouncing and then factory fog lights with uh, LEDs so that is a handful of mods um, you can do for your Grand Prix um, one thing to think about I will have another video because I do have a bunch of other ones that I will be filming to show you guys. And this, this is just to get you get the ball going. These are ones that you can get from a sour jar or from your local 3800 form or this Facebook group um, or the marketplace or Craigslist or wherever you can get your local car parts or the ones you're willing to pay shipping for. Uh, so if you did like this video, uh, please comment. I'd like to hear uh, what you like about these these mods and if you'd use any of them. And then uh, we'll end the video there. Thanks.